The Small World Doll Rumor Disneyland's It's a Small World ride is known for its cheerful, almost hypnotic charm, with its vibrant colors, international dolls, and endlessly repetitive song. It's meant to celebrate unity and peace across different cultures. However, beneath the bright smiles of the dancing dolls, there lies a story that gives It's a Small World an eerie reputation. Some say the dolls come to life, even after the ride has been shut down. This story comes from Disneyland employees who have worked late chips. The ride is filled with hundreds of dolls dressed in traditional costumes from around the world, each one moving to the beat of the infamous tune. They blink, turn, and sway in unison during park hours. But according to the rumors, the dolls don't always stop when the ride does. One night, a cast member was doing routine maintenance after the park had closed. The ride was completely powered down, its lights dimmed, and its dolls frozen in place. As he worked his way through the scenes, he suddenly heard a faint clicking noise. At first, he thought it was just the creaking of the old animatronic settling. But when he turned around, he saw one of the dolls one that should have been motionless slowly turning its head toward him. Startled, he approached the doll, but everything seemed normal. He shook his head, blaming the ladar for his imagination, and continued his work. But as he walked further down the path, he could swear he heard faint singing coming from behind him the familiar tune of It's a Small World playing softly. Even though the ride had been powered off, the rumors persisted over the years. Several other cast members have reported seeing the dolls move when the ride is supposed to be off. Some say they've seen the dolls blinking, their eyes slowly opening and closing on their own. Others claim to have seen the dolls subtly shift positions overnight, as if they've been roaming the ride after hours. One particularly creepy report came from a janitor who was tasked with cleaning up the ride after a day of operation. He swore that as he mopped the floor near one of the doll scenes, he felt something tugging at the edge of his pant leg. He looked down and saw one of the dolls, its arm outstretched as if it had grabbed him. The janitor backed away, stunned, but when he blinked, the doll's arm was back in its usual position. He quit the next day. Some believe the dolls are haunted, that spirits of children who visited the park long ago have taken residence inside them. Others think the dolls are simply malfunctioning, their mechanics old and prone to strange glitches. But for those who have experienced it, there's no doubt, something is wrong with the dolls and it's a small world. Cast members and guests have reported that the lights inside the ride sometimes flicker or dim unexpectedly, even though the ride's electrical system is said to be stable. In particular, late at night, when the ride is being cleaned or prepared for the next day, the lighting is said to behave strangely. The flickering seems random, and it's often accompanied by a sudden chill in the air. While this could be attributed to technical malfunctions, the regularity of these occurrences has led some to believe that it's something more supernatural. There's a rumor that in the early days of the ride's operation, one of the dolls was accidentally left out of the lineup during routine maintenance and was forgotten. When cast members realized the mistake and tried to put it back into the ride, they supposedly couldn't find the exact spot it had come from. Some versions of the story claim that this abandoned doll was placed in a storage area, only to be found in different positions every time someone returned to the storage room. Others say the doll was eventually put back in the ride, but it's said to have a different, more unsettling expression than the others almost as if it's angry about being forgotten. The ride's origin and possible cursed how it's a small world is one of Disney's most beloved and enduring attractions. Some conspiracy theorists and urban legend enthusiasts claim the ride has darker origins. They suggest that the ride's repetitive song and seemingly innocent dolls were designed with subliminal messaging in mind, or that the ride was somehow cursed. According to these legends, anyone who tampers with the dolls or ride mechanics risks bringing bad luck. While there's no truth to these claims, it adds to the mystique and fear surrounding the attraction for some visitors. Guests trapped on the ride as several incidents of technical malfunctions on It's a Small World have caused guests to be stuck on the ride for extended periods of time. The most unsettling part for those trapped is that the iconic, repetitive theme song continues to play on a loop during these delays. Some guests have reported feeling unnerved by the experience, with the cheerful melody becoming more sinister as the minutes drag on. Though the ride malfunctions are typical of any large theme park, the repetitive nature of the song has led some to describe it as almost tortuous during long delays. These legends add to the overall creepy atmosphere that sometimes surrounds It's a Small World, despite its cheerful exterior. Whether you believe in the ghost stories or not, it's clear that this seemingly innocent ride has left an eerie mark on Disney's lore.